Here in the computer mess room, I keep a whole brace of uninterruptible power supplies waiting in the wings in case one of my units lays down and dies, or a client's unit dies and they need a replacement very, very quickly. Well, during this past week or so, I've had the air conditioning on in the house, and as such, to try and cut down on the amount of heat load that it has to deal with, I turned off the series of outlet strips that I have in place that are connected to all of these uninterruptible power supplies, keeping their batteries on float charge. Well, tonight's a cool, wonderful night, so I decided to turn the air conditioning off, open up the house, let it ventilate a little bit, and as such, I also decided that I should probably turn on the outlet strips that allow all these uninterruptible power supplies to charge their batteries. And imagine what happened when I turned one of them on. All of a sudden it seemed like there was a bird in the computer mess room, and I had soon traced it down to this smart UPS 750. No, this UPS is not broken. It's not about to experience any kind of a dramatic failure. This is just another one of the amazing and weird things that happens when the batteries in these units fail. And these batteries have definitely failed. Go ahead and shut that off and then hold down the button up here so this thing will be quiet. And I noticed right away that these batteries were swollen. I shouldn't have put them back in here, but such is my undying dedication to those of you in the viewing audience. <laughs> I'll go ahead and take the leads off here, and I'll show you what happened. One of the two batteries is definitely a goner. I get a little multimeter up here, a little cheapy with a stand on it, but it'll do the job that I need it to do. And we'll just take a quick voltage reading here. This battery's weak but probably savable if I brought it up on an external charger of some kind. This other one is just junk. It's got a bunch of dead cells, I'm sure of it. Interestingly enough, this is not the first time I've had this happen. These are UPG, Universal Power Group batteries. They don't have the greatest reputation in the world. And I actually was running a set of these in a regular back UPS and they failed in exactly the same way. And I just thought that was interesting, the way the UPS behaved and the way these batteries happened to fail. So thank you as always for watching, and certainly do feel free to leave a comment if you happen to have one. I got some batteries on closeout from Radio Shack. $12 a pop make a great replacement for these.